Hey guys, I'm back. So today we'll be making a nice spiced pumpkin soup. This is the perfect recipe for cuddle season. This is my favorite recipe when making pumpkin soup. So let's jump right in guys. We will be using Filippo Berrio olive oil some darky seasoning as well as Spice Island seasonings. And if you have watched Taste is Key, guys, you know, you know, I swear, swear, swear by using thyme. So I will be using a lot of thyme in this recipe. The first thing we're gonna do is peel our garlic. Grab a small piece of foil. We're gonna place our garlic in our foil. We're going to use a little bit of Filippo Berrio olive oil. I love the extra virgin olive oil, but you can use either or. Put a little bit of olive oil in our foil, and then we're just gonna wrap it up. So this is gonna make a nice roasted garlic for our soup. The next thing what we're gonna do, guys, is cut two onions. So to cut your onion, I'm just gonna peel it. We don't have to dice or slice this onion. We can cook it whole. So I'm just gonna cut the root off and just peel our onion back. So this recipe does call for two whole onions. So that's what we're going to do. The next thing what we're gonna do, guys, we're going to clean our pumpkin. So this is fresh local pumpkin that I did get from our local uh, farmer's market. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a spoon. This is just a little technique that I use to clean out our pumpkin. You can use this technique for cleaning out any melon as well that has seeds like so. So you're just gonna take your spoon and just get all of that excess out that we do not need. So this recipe is a pumpkin soup, guys, but I do like to add squash in it, just to add a little bit more creaminess to our soup. Okay, and we're gonna do the same technique that we just did for our pumpkin for our squash. So as you can see, this is a very easy way to remove the seeds from any vegetable that you're using. We're going to put those ingredients that we just cut, we're going to place them on a baking sheet. We're not gonna peel off the skin because we are gonna blend the skin up. That is, that is extra nutrients. So I'm not gonna peel my carrot. I'm gonna keep the skin on because it is not extra nutrients. I did clean my skin with Nature Clean Vegetable Wash. So I'm just gonna cut the carrot. And you can just cut it in twos and then in half again. And that can be placed directly on the foil as well. So the last ingredient that we will cut will be our celery. So I'm just gonna cut off each end and then in half again, and then place directly on the baking sheet. So we're just gonna season this up. We're gonna go in again with a little bit of Filippo Barrio olive oil. That's gonna be drizzled all over our vegetable. Like so. I'm then gonna go in with a little bit of rosemary. I'm gonna rub that on our pumpkin and our squash. That's really gonna infuse the oils of the herb into our vegetables, okay? And the last thing I'm going to do is put a little bit of thyme because I love thyme. So we're just gonna preheat our oven for 350 start.
So this did bake, guys, for one hour. So we're just gonna take it out of the oven and let it rest. All right, our veg looks amazing. It's beautifully roasted with this nice crust on it. So what we're gonna do now, we're going to cut it up and put it directly in a blender. If you don't have a blender, you can use a hand bullet if that is your preference. So what we're gonna do, we're going to cut our pumpkin first. So as you can see, it's beautifully roasted and I'm going to keep the skin on. So we're gonna do this in stages. We're gonna blend a little bit now and then blend the rest later. Here is our roasted garlic. So as you can see, it is roasted beautifully. What you can do once your garlic is cooked to that temperature of 350 for an hour, you can just smush it all out like so. So I'm gonna put all of that garlic into our blender. So once you do get some ingredients into our blender, we're going to pour our stock in. So we're gonna go in half stages. So this is about four cups of stock. So I'm gonna pour two cups into our blender. And then we're gonna go in with just a little bit of heavy cream. So that's about a half a cup of heavy cream. And then we're gonna put the lid on and then blend. So I'm just gonna blend it until it is smooth. So I'm gonna pour my ingredients that I did blend into my pot and then we're gonna let that simmer for about 10 minutes and then it will be done. So I'm going to add a little bit of brown sugar. So about two tablespoons of brown sugar and then I'm gonna go in with three tablespoons of garlic powder and then a little bit of red pepper flakes. This is optional if you would like a little spice. Two tablespoons of butter. The butter is gonna add a creamy feel to your mouth when you're eating the soup. One tablespoon of Spice Island thyme. Half a tablespoon of Spice Island rosemary. One teaspoon of cinnamon. A half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Nutmeg is a very strong spice, so you don't want to use too much of it. So guys, we're all finished with our soup now. I did have our soup simmering for 15 minutes. That's all you need, okay? So the next thing what we're gonna do is just put it into our bowl. Take some nice hearty scoops. So we have our soup in our bowl. We're just gonna decorate it with just a little bit of heavy cream. So for the cream, you're just gonna pour it over the top, like so, as much as you want. Our next thing would be pepper flakes. We're just gonna put a little bit on the top. This is just to add a little bit more kick to our soup. To finish it off, we have a little bit of microgreens here. That will be placed on the top. And there you go, guys. 